Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Elaine, for those of you that are new here, and to all my subscribed Lainey loves, welcome back. So for today's video, I know it's kind of late, but I decided to do it anyways. I'm gonna be sharing with you what I got for Christmas and for my birthday, which is super close to Christmas. So I just decided to throw them all in together and make this quick video for you guys. So we've got some pretty special pieces, some that came as a surprise to me, and one which is super special that you're gonna have to stick with me till the end to find out what it is. But yeah, so this year I feel so blessed and so spoiled, but if you wanna see what I got, then keep on watching. So before I get started, um, I have been getting quite a few questions in my DMs about like a hair update and all that good stuff. Um, Cause obviously when I started this channel, I was doing hair related content and I'll switch up on you guys, I know. But um, yeah, so the reason why is because <laughs> the deeper we got into toddlerhood with my son, the less time I could spend on my hair. So the update is that I actually, if you can tell, chopped off quite a bit of it. I struggled with the idea of cutting it for about a year and I finally pulled the plug because um, it's not any deep reason. Like I'm not trying to restart my hair journey or anything. It's literally because of convenience. Um, taking care of the long hair was just a bit too much for me. Could not keep up with it. It wasn't even healthy at that point. So I just decided to cut it off, make it a little bit more manageable and then I mean, hopefully it'll grow back. <laughs> But yeah, so that's where we're at with that. I'll see if I can insert a before pic just um, just for the newbies to the channel, just to have some reference. But yeah, so this is what my hair is looking like now. I just did a silk press on it about a week or two ago. So that's what I'm rocking right now. So, well, obviously it's been through some humidity, so now it's like a big old poof ball, but I don't mind it. I kind of like it like that sometimes. But anyways, you guys did not come to hear me rant about my hair. Let's get into these gifts. So I think I'll just go ahead and start with this one. Um, so just so you know, these are all the gifts that I got from family members. So like my parents, my sister, my brother-in-law, and of course my husband. But um, I'm not gonna try any of the stuff on. I'm literally just gonna show it to you guys. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with this. I put a little bow on it. It didn't come like that, but I've already opened it, already smelled it. It's amazing. I got this perfume, which is the Puccini Donna. I don't know if it's Donna Puccini or Puccini Donna, but this smells so good. Let me show you what the bottle looks like. It's so pretty. I love it. Like I said, I'm addicted to perfume, so you really can't go wrong with picking up a bottle for me. But this is what the bottle looks like. It's so pretty. So, so cute. Got this beautiful um, golden top on it. And it's got this sweet powdery musk. It's almost like the Rihanna Nude, if you know Rihanna Nude, but a little bit on the spicier side. So I love it and oh, it's just gonna be so perfect for the winter time. But yeah, so that's the first one, the Puccini Donna. I'm gonna put that right there and then Let's go ahead and move on to this cute little box. Um, so it is from Dior and I picked this up for myself um, because I mean, who said gifts have to come from other people? I mean, you can gift yourself sometimes as well. So I picked up this beautiful, some people call these Twillies. I believe Dior calls these Mitzers. Um, I'm gonna insert, I'm gonna see if I can insert a clip of um, my Dior essay putting a mitzer on my Lady Dior bag. I believe this is the Toit de Palm print. It's 100% silk, absolutely beautiful. I figured I'd get this for my bag since it's got like this deep wintry colors. I just loved it. And then on the other side, it just says Christian Dior. But yeah, so there's so many things that you can do with this. It doesn't have to go on your bag. It can go like as a headscarf. You can tie it around your neck. I've seen some people do that. Some people even tie it on their wrist as a bracelet. So there's so much use that you can get out of this. I just loved it. And the fact that it was on sale, I was like, mm, why not? But yeah, so that is the Dior Mitzer. 
All right, so next I got this beautiful olive green set. It comes with this beautiful cropped hoodie. It says Savage, Great American, Original Brand. I am in love with this color. I don't know why, but recently I've been obsessed with olive green. But these are the pants that it came with. It also says Savage on there. It's super warm. I cannot wait to wear this. I don't know if I'll wear it around the house. It's pretty cute, so I may be able to wear it out, maybe like when I'm taking Nolan for a walk or something or just running errands, but yeah, so I got that. And then I also got this beautiful, 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 um, what do you call this, a poncho, yes. I love a poncho. I mean, it's just the easiest thing to dress up any outfit. And I especially love these colors. I mean, it's got like the different tones of brown, it's got like this cream and black and gray, just perfect, so I can't wait to wear this as well. I think a poncho is so great because you literally just throw it on and it just makes a whole outfit look a little bit better put together so you don't even have to try too hard. So yeah, I love, love, love this. And I also love this little button detail that kind of closes off the arm or separates the arm from the rest of the poncho. It's so warm and comfortable and incredibly soft. I wish you guys could feel this. It is so beautiful. So that's the other gift. And since we're on clothes, I'm gonna go ahead and open this beautiful box. Okay, so first of all, can we just get into this Dior packaging? I think that they had the most beautiful holiday packaging out of any designer house this holiday season. Um, it's got just such beautiful details and I don't know if the camera is gonna pick it up, but in the light, the little gold flecks just pick up so beautifully and it's so sparkly and so gorgeous. But anywho, let's go ahead and open this up. So this actually got on the sale as well. Um, let's go ahead and open this. I'm gonna try not to rip it, good job. So I got, I'm gonna put this down. <clears throat> I got this beautiful, oh, <laughs> I got this beautiful scarf, you guys. I am completely obsessed. This is also in the same print as the Mitzer. It's just got the, it's just got blue and white and black, but same design. It's the Toit de Palm. This is also 100% silk. And just look at that beautiful ruffle detail at the bottom. It's so beautiful. Like I can just picture all the ways I can wear this, even in winter, but especially for spring, like just like tied around, like you can put it around like this and put a belt on it and it's a whole look. But yeah, I am completely obsessed with Dior designs. I just think they're the most beautiful thing ever. I mean, can you just look at how beautiful this is? And then just imagining the, the amount of work that went into printing this, especially this like blurred out design, just to print this on silk. I can't even remember what he told me about how the process goes, but I just know it's a lot of work and you can tell that they put all their love and time into this. So yeah, that is the Dior scarf. All right, so we're moving pretty quickly, which is great because I did not want this to be a long video, but we've got three items left. I'm gonna go ahead and do this box right here. You can probably already tell it's a pair of shoes. So, oh. so this is just the um, care instructions for how to maintain your shoes. And then of course it comes with the beautiful dust bags as well. But I have been thinking about this pair of shoes for so long and I don't even know why it took me this long to get them, but while I was in the store, he actually ended up having my size, which is really rare. Like I've said before, I wear a size 41 in European sizes. So, you know, big feet problems, it's very hard to find your size. But I picked up this beautiful pair of heels. This is what it looks like. Um, it's kind of like a kitten heel, but oh my goodness. So gorgeous. I love, love, I had to try these on and they were just so perfect. They're so comfortable and I love the pointy toe. If you follow me on Instagram, then you would have seen that I have a black pair of Dior um, sandals or heeled sandals, but it's like a block heel. 
The only issue that I have with that shoe is that it's got a rounded toe instead of a pointy toe. So it's kind of, it's not as comfortable as I would have hoped. So I'm actually considering selling those shoes. If you're interested, they're size 41. Um, I'll see if I can pop a picture of them. But yeah, so I ended up getting these instead. Um, I was torn between the nude and the black, but he didn't actually have my size in the nude. So obviously I went with these, but I love this shoe. It's so classy. And I really started enjoying kitten heels just cause I'm trying to get back into heels, but I will never be a stiletto girl ever again. <laughs> it's just not for me. But yeah, so this is super comfortable. I love this bow detail on the sides. It says Jadior. But yeah, so I got these and I'm so happy. I can't wait to start wearing these. Eventually I'll try and get them in the nude color, but black was just so easy. It was a no brainer because I wear a lot of black. I wear a lot of dark colors. So this will be easy to match with anything. But yeah, I just think they're so classy and they're so pretty and so girly. <laughs> so I had to get them. So there's those. Now this next box, this is the one that really, really shocked me when I opened it. Um, first of all, it was, of course it had Christmas wrapping on it and everything, so it didn't come like this. Um, I had no idea what it was. I thought it was a pair of shoes or something. So this one is from my husband. And the reason why I wasn't expecting this gift was because he got me this gift. And this was not cheap at all, so <laughs> I was like, this can be my birthday gift and my Christmas gift put together and that's all I need from you because I really, really, really wanted this. But we'll talk about that a little bit later. This is the packaging. I guess it's the gift packaging from VCA. It says VCA. As soon as I took off the wrapping and I saw VCA, I was like, oh, what? <laughs> Super shocked. But yeah, so Van Cleef & Arpel is a high-end jewelry company, um, if you're not familiar. So this is their gift packaging, um, which is wonderful because if you see this, you'll have no idea what's inside. But let's go ahead and open it. It's so beautiful. So when you open it, um, there it goes. It says Van Cleef & Arpels. This box, this packaging is just so, so amazing. Like they do an amazing job but it's covered in velvet and it says Van Cleef and Arpels. It's got this pocket here. I'm not sure for what. As you can tell, it's got a whole lot of stuffing because like I said, it's a jewelry company. So I mean, how big of a box do you really need for jewelry? But anyways, but inside the box, they give you this beautiful little travel pouch for your jewelry. It's made of suede. It's just the cutest little pouch just to keep your jewelry nice and safe. And then it also comes with this envelope, which inside has the authenticity card or certificate, and then also a little care booklet. They just put this together so nicely. But yeah, so there's that. And then in this big old box, <laughs> there is this perfect tiny little box. Um, let me go ahead and put this down. So this is what comes inside the big old box. It says Van Cleef and Arpels. It's a beautiful white box. And on the inside, you open it up and there's this a beautiful jewelry box. Um, also in the same suede as a little travel pouch. And then inside the box is this a beautiful, beautiful necklace. I cannot believe that he got this for me, but it is absolutely perfection. I'll do some up close shots of it for you guys. This is the Sweet Alhambra necklace with the butterfly, and it is the Mother of Pearl, which I have been dying to get. Okay, so, I mean, I have mentioned that I wanted this a few months ago, but you know, sometimes you talk to your husband and you don't even know if he's really listening. <laughs> Clearly he was. But yeah, so I, I opened this and this absolutely made my whole entire Christmas. I could not believe how sweet he was to pick this up for me. But this is more of a choker style necklace, so it's perfect for layering. But I am just so excited that he picked this to start off my fine jewelry collection. But yeah, so that was the most special piece that I got for Christmas. <laughs> All right, so I did save the best for last, and if you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much. If you've been enjoying it, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up, but you guys are not going to believe what I found. Oh my God. All right, so let me just say that if you guys have any doubts that I love and appreciate you guys, then adapt no longer because it has taken 
everything in me not to rummage through this box and open it and I've literally had this for over two months but I really wanted to open it with you guys so I have saved it as you can tell literally haven't touched it I haven't seen it since I have bought it in the store so story time for this bag I actually have never even really been interested in this style of bag from Dior. So I was on their website checking out their cruise collection. I've been wanting to add a book tote to my collection but literally I've been in the store three times and three times I have walked out with a different bag and obviously this time was no different so this is not a book tote but anyways so while I was scrolling on their website this bag literally stopped me in my tracks. I saw it and I was like wait a minute what was that scrolled right back <laughs> and i could not believe how much i fell in love with this so i think this was a seasonal bag i don't know i don't think i've ever seen this color combination before from dior so as soon as i saw it literally didn't waste no time i texted my dior essay and he was like girl first of all i've seen this bag in person they only sent seven to the entire us and canada and the one that we had is gone but hold that thought i'm going to find this bag for you and that's exactly what he did there was literally one left in the u.s and he found it in new york so thank god he had a connect he knows the manager for one of the boutiques in new york and he was like i don't care what you're doing if you're at work i need you to go to the floor and see if you have this bag and take it off the shelf <laughs> And that's exactly what she did. So I feel so, so, so privileged to be able to have this bag and add this bag to my collection. It is so beautiful, you guys. Like, seriously. I mean, this bag is actually so beautiful that I think it's kind of handsome. And I know that's a weird word to use, but once you see it, you'll know what I mean. Anyways, let's, let me go ahead and start unboxing because you have been so patient and waited to see it but this was supposed to be my only <laughs> birthday Christmas gift from my husband, but like I said, I am so spoiled, so spoiled. So, I cannot wait to see it. I can't wait for you guys to see it. This bag is something else. So it is in the dust bag. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. So, <laughs> I, found the most beautiful beautiful oh my god oh my god all right are you ready i got oh this beautiful oh my goodness this is the 30 montane bag from dior I'm not sure if they have different sizes. This is just the main regular size. Guys, tell me this is not the most beautiful bag you've ever seen. It's got these beautiful shades of red on the inside. And then it's got the beautiful CD Christian Dior emblem on the front, obviously. And this is a click top. So you just click the bottom and Pull it open like that it is a full leather bag so I mean this bag is just <sighs> speechless I am speechless but yeah so <laughs> the inside of the bag it does have a strap and the strap is in the same beautiful red tone and inside it's got some stuffing let's take that out that is what the inside of the bag looks like it's got a zipper pocket in the back there and then it also has the little pocket right there i hope you guys can see it so i'm actually gonna take the stickers off it's been too long and i'm gonna make this bag officially mine <laughs> i know some people like to keep the stickers on to preserve the gold but actually i've heard that if you keep it on it ends up oxidizing the gold and it can mess it up that way so i like to take it off immediately it's got stickers on the belt as well 
Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to start wearing this bag. I don't even care where I'm going, this bag is coming with me, do you hear me? So, this is a belt strap, so it is adjustable. You can wear it crossbody or as a shoulder bag. And then on the belt, it just says Christian Dior right there on the top. But isn't this red just so beautiful? I love it. And I think that's the part that got me. It's just this color combination is perfect. I mean, the cream and then it's got the black. See, if it was all cream, then I'd be scared of the bag a little bit because of color transfer. But I love that they put black leather on the back and that the top of it is mostly black leather. But seriously, seriously. Is this not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? And I forgot to mention that it's got the little pocket in the back just for easy access. I'm not gonna put the belt on right now, but just, just picture it. Picture it with the strap on there. I don't know, man. I don't know, 2021 was such a good year. I think it was the best year of my life. And just adding beautiful things like this I just have a lot to be grateful for. That's all I will say <laughs> before I start crying. But yeah, so this was the last item. <clears throat> I'm just gonna put old girl right there. Oh, I could look at her all day. She's so pretty. Anyways, um, so that wraps everything up. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you guys really had a good holiday season. I know there's a lot going on and there's actually a lot of people who were not able to spend Christmas or New Year's with their family. And if you are one of those, then I'm sending all the good vibes, all the love to you. I hope that you're able to make up the quality time better late than never. And I just want to remind everybody to be grateful for life because life is super short and we're in such a weird season and in such a weird time. So just count your blessings. And I hope that 2022 is good to you. But yeah, so I really do hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, like I said, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, then go ahead and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any new uploads from me. But again, Happy New Year to all of you. Thank you so much for your support. And as usual, you can let me know in the comment section which piece was your favorite. And I'd also like to hear from you guys which pieces you got for Christmas that meant the most to you. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!